Tom Brady is gone and he didn't come back. He actually retired. He retired him. So yeah. Oh god, it finish the statement. I just remember that you're actually yeah, a finish the statement. Fan. I'd probably be a little over the Phoenix. Uh -huh. I don't like the Phoenix Suns. I don't like Phoenix as an organization. You from... shouldn't like them, but you're a Lakers fan. Exactly. What advice would you give to a spouse or a girlfriend that is annoyed with a significant other being involved with fantasy football? Listen, we could be doing a lot of things that you would not approve <laughs> with the time where you can see where we are watching the games and setting our lineups. Be happy we home. And it would have been mine if it hadn't been for those meddling kids. All right, welcome to another episode of the Full Gambit Podcast. We're where somewhere above 4,700 subscribers. Thank all of good you. Stuff. That's some, some really good stuff. I'm surprised that <coughs> you've you've hung in there with us and stuck with us, and the engagement has gone up on the shorts. Continue to support us that way. I look forward to reading the comments all day long. And for some of you, that makes sense. You know, I like it, or I go in there and kind of, you know, engage with you guys and reply. Have a deeper conversation in the comment section. If you have a question for the show, if you want me to cover a particular episode, don't. Um, hesitate, reach out via email or in the comment section, just top, flag us and say, hey, hey, Jay, can you talk about X, Y, Z? And at some point, we will. My boy is in the studio today, so you know we're talking sports. Yeah, your boy back. Finally, it's only been sure. umpteen episodes. So since like last season. I think, <clears throat> what? I thought about like last year, so we talking sports. So yeah. last season. Oh, it was last season. Yeah. And something happened. Since a lot of things, I don't want to talk about it. First of all, hi, you know what? Hello, everything cool. No, 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 Again, at this year. No, 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 no. No, we, right now, no. Don't, don't worry about Don't that. count don't worry the bird that. in the bush. You know what? You're right. Because the last time they started talking smack, even though I had to whoop you when we had the episode, after that, the injury has strike me down. I already lose my keeper. I still in first place. I ain't going to talk yet. I can wait. All Next right. time I pop up, I might have my own to it. Okay, okay. It ain't going to be as big or nice as this. Don't worry about it. You can see. They nice, though, don't lie. They, they, they dope. Yeah, they dope. Yeah. Shout out to our commissioner of our league, the fantasy league, the champion league, Brent. Uh, shout out to all the boys, Vado, Melvin, all the except homies. Eric. Everybody, <laughs> anybody and everybody except uh, Eric. I'm even going to shout out Lee. Goes on. Lee actually watches the podcast and he always gives me great feedback. So shout out to Lee. Hope you enjoy this particular episode. So let's get Wish into it. Wish all the worst when y'all play me. We have a lot to get into. A lot has happened in sports. Mm -hmm. A lot has happened in sports broadcasting. Yeah. Right? So we, there's a whole new landscape. New slate. Tom Brady is gone and he didn't come back. He's a part of one yeah, of the Raiders. He actually retired. He retired him. So, yeah. Don't forget. You said about the playoffs. Oh, God. I finish the statement. I, finish the statement. I, I just remember that you're actually yeah, a cowboy. Finish the statement. And, and you got my colors on the ring. That's how I know you really want to be a cowboy, but everything cool. Let's go. Continue. It's actually Giants. Nah, it ain't. Continue. It's Giants. You're, you're way more brighter than that. It's blue. You're, you're blue brighter than that. Okay. Continue. You though. know what? You know what? Okay. Cowboy fun in the building. Right on my face, man. Let's go. <laughs> Brady's retired. Shannon left Skip. Yep. After that big blow up, remember we said that there was some cracks there. It was a lot. And I mean, Skip was disrespectful. But it wasn't until he did the podcast with Stephen A recently that we knew how bad it was. No, no, no. You could just see that because I'm going tell you when it was a bunch of scenarios. I know that breaking point is when he was getting disrespected by his Hall of Fame career yes. for the Brady stuff. Right. Then it was other times like when Hamlin went down. And he tried to make that now, statement. The tweet, and Skip yeah. was like, hold up. I ain't agree with what you're trying to say. Like, all that was just... There was a part where he said, yeah, I don't agree with was, what you're trying to remember, say. Remember, 
right after that because Skip had that tweet. Right. And, and Shannon Skip. He didn't show up. Then the next day, he showed up. He made a statement. He was doing a monologue statement before the episode to explain why he wasn't there and how he felt about the situation. Mm-hmm. And Skip heard it and didn't like it. And started telling he cut him off like how he always cut him off and get him mad because he's trying to finish his statement. And when he said something, and he's like, I don't really agree with what Skip said, but X, Y, Z. And Skip was like, hold up. You don't agree with this? We didn't agree. They didn't tell me you was going to do this. So uh, you can't skip off God. So Skip was trying to cut it off so he couldn't finish his statement. Uh, so all them things was adding up. On top of the fact his current arc was going up and all that. All that was adding And he got super popular. Re- like, I wouldn't say really quick, because obviously he had an amazing NFL And he career. was on TV before that. He was outspoken. He was, he, was on a, he was in a smaller market. No, he was broadcasting. He was on yeah. CBS. Every Sunday. Really? Yeah, he was on CBS broadcast. He was on NFL Network. He's doing different things. Okay. But it just wasn't every day like Fox. Right. And, and it, it, it didn't really... Uh, like, okay, NFL commentary and the retired players, they yeah. have some color. And you can't right? really show the personality. Right. So I think Unless you're this, or stint, this stint, exactly, with Gronk or Terry, Steve, Rod, Steve Joe, Smith, people those, like that. Those are people. Yeah. So this stint with Skip... Because it was only the two of them, and Skip is a colorful character on his own, yeah. allowed him to run, and then he was able to do Club Shay Shay and all yeah. that other stuff. I like Show the his one personality. With, I like the one he has with Ocho. Oh yeah, I love that. I watch like, it after every game, bro. Like that, that's lit. that's one of the dopest podcasts around right now. They just started, like, but doing numbers too. Do you think? Okay. Do you think he should have like? left a little better because I still think it was kind of weird and jaded even though I support him leaving and, mm. and going on his own yeah. I didn't like the fact that he left and then went to ESPN like that's the part I I, I, mean, I don't get down with that where else you about to go they the only two people really on daily who you can I thought, and see live I well I you thought, can't really see FS1 live unless you got that station I thought he was going to do his own thing. I didn't. I thought so too. I, I mean, he is too. No, he no, is no, 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 no. That is Stephen A. Show. I'm talking about the stuff he got with Ocho. Like he's doing his own no, thing. No, no, no. I don't know what you mean like daily That's stuff. Fine. Like the Ocho thing, the Club Shay Shay, maybe getting a deal with Netflix, um, or like Hulu or whoever. Yeah. Right, Disney Plus, HBO Max, or whatever. Uh-huh. But to sit up there. And go from, like, skip. Being on daily than being on twice a week? You mean like that? No, 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 no. Just going from skip. Mm -hmm. Like, the personality partner would skip. And then go into his... Maybe the enemy... Okay. Maybe the the Stephen A. That was kind of like... So, you trying to say he put a KD? That's what you trying to say? Like, he go off from OKC to the Super Team with the whole ESPN franchise. Disney. I wouldn't even call it they Katie. got people thought, on multiple. They got multiple people on. Did you think Cody Katie was a snake for going going to say? Hell yeah. Okay, well then he's Katie. Then he pulled a Katie. If you're gonna be up three one, yeah. Then then, okay, lose, he pulled a Katie then. then. Come on, then you didn't really let people know you was dipping out. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He he did pull a Katie. I and I didn't. Like I wouldn't it. say he pulled a Katie to that extent. I didn't like it. Yeah. I didn't like it, and I know why he did it. Maybe more money, better exposure, but. Stephen A. You know how I could get you. Like that's understand. that's like that's that's the ultimate f you. Like that was a middle finger. I mean yes and no. Like I said, it's really only two titans. So if you leave one, you're really going to the other one. Otherwise, you have to face it or hurt. As far True. as I'm concerned, True. you ain't going back to FS1. True. They didn't give you your own show. True. So the fact of that, and then ESPN, the only thing left, you might as well go to the biggest one, and then this was part, but you should understand. But I feel like you could. Because of what you do mm-hmm. and the fact you like freedom, you'll understand this. You go off from being on five times all year. Then now you got two. And now you can do whatever you want to do with the rest of your free time and still make corn doing different shows the way you want to do it. And you got full creative control. Mr. I always want full creative control. You should understand that. Why are you going to do it like that? Why you got to... You got you to you gotta, you gotta, you gotta hear it to no, feel like okay, you got to say okay. that style way why you did it. Mind you, that aspect of it, I get that. It is the personality shift. Them niggas beefing. That's like going from blood to crips. I mean, they beefing, you know. They beefing, He bro. really beefing with Skip. He ain't beefing with Stephen A. Understand that. Skip and Stephen A don't really have beef. 
Skip, I beef with ESPN because he wanted more money and he wanted more freedom mm. and they wasn't giving him it. So after that, Steven had just said, well, this is my crown now. So I can take over. And that's what he did. Now he ran the whole show. He got creative control. He yeah, he on, he that's his. That's yeah. his. Skip, he ain't the same like that. Skip will have all the control. He will bring certain people on. He won't just hop it about him or just him going through what he got to do. Now, after you see Steve when they being successful with this franchise team where you got Marcus Spears, Ryan Clark, all the women on, like mm. Joy, mm. and different people like that. My bad, Molly. Yeah, yeah, my bad, Molly. Yeah, Molly. When Joy like 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 used over. to be on the SBA. Okay. My bad. Yeah. I, lo- I love Joy. Molly and everybody I else popping up. Then you got people for each thing. You got people for NBA stuff. You got people for NFL stuff popping up. Sure, the week, all the down and everybody else. Mm. Skip do it now. You got Sherman. You got Irving. You got Keyshawn. I don't Keyshawn, like it. I don't like it. People. I don't like it. You know why? Because Skip can't really be Skip with all those loud personalities. My turn. He can't do that with them. <laughs> he can't do that with them. He can't do that with Irv. He can't no, do that with Sherm. No. He can't. He definitely no. can't do it with Sherm. You know what? And he can't do it with Keyshawn. Keyshawn, only way to get away with that. With. The only the funniest thing um, was I think Skip said something possible, and you saw it. Sherman on, is hot down on his face. face. He said a and couple of times, and then he realized he can't do it, so he just make a face. What do you mean, well, he can't do it? Because that, that would bring color, yeah, and I think would. that would bring a certain it audience. Would. But after the, as well. the reaction the first time he did it, and then Cameron and them call him out on him because they never just they pause before they sign oh, up so, and they oh, show. So okay. now he don't do it hold no on, more. He on, just make on, a face. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, so let me, let me get it straight. Uh-huh. So Cameron thinks he owns pause? Low-key. The Harlem, New York dudes were boss. They're the ones who brought that out. Hold on. So let me get this High straight. key, they brought that out. No, and New that's York fine, people brought that out. But that's fine. I know one was really saying pause but, on shows, but, on sports shows. But I understand now, what they're trying to but say. But now that's a part of the culture. An annoying part you know of the why culture. Why is the part of the culture? Because, because I of hate who? the fact that now. How I get about the culture? Them. Okay. But that's what it is. I get like, it. You put it out there but in the public see, domain. The difference is. Well, you can put it on a well, shirt I get and do whatever you got to do. This is what it is. The different persons. Who actually was saying pause was giving them shout outs like ESPN, like say you want to do us on ESPN, do it like Ryan Clark or someone to say, shout out, it is what it is. Or even LaShawn McCoy, when you say pause on Speak for Yourself, said that. Mm. But sure, them are just doing, wouldn't give no recognition. So that's why they call them on it. Things like so, that. So if I want to say it on my podcast, I'd be like, camera on voice, pause. No, you just be like, shout out to them, whatever. Or different things like that. Like, they, uh, that's why they had beef. That's all I'm saying. That's like me use it. Like, you know what? Never mind. I, I, I mean, uh, they low-key getting more views and skipping them right now, too. Like, they actually got people watching No, I know they're doing crazy. numbers. I know they're doing numbers. You know, a lot of numbers. We did our first live draft in Orlando. Mm-hmm. It was annoying all weekend. <laughs> it is killing you. It was annoying all weekend. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't say nothing. I mean, you were saying some possible things, sir. I'm, I'm just saying. The LGBT community does not own the English language. I should be able to make a Rodney Monka joke about tree meats, and it should be okay. We were at breakfast. That's how you said it. Literally. That's how you said it. No, 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 no. You can say these things and get away with it. It's how you say it. No. The tone, the way you say it. In that group, I cannot say anything. Oh no, no, no! Yeah, they, they on, they they are sensitive now. They sensitive to hundred now. Like you can't, you can't say, say nothing. anything. They can't wait to that say has an asterisk next to it. Yeah, but it does make you look you and think see about life. how sexualized the English language is yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 unfortunately, we've given away so much power to, of the English language to that community. And you can't even talk anymore. You can't converse. True. You can't even crack a joke. I'm about to say, how do you think the comedians feel? They're the ones who feel it the most. Because they used to live off those kind of jokes. Chappelle, all of them, Chris Rock, all of them used to live off those kind of jokes. They do it now as a fraud. Even Chappelle specials. You only because Chappelle pretty much untouchable. They couldn't get him out the paint. But they was trying. They damn sure was trying. But I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like surrendering free speech like if i say it in a in a sus voice like i winking at niggas in there <laughs> yeah, like that's that's, that's, a, that's, that's different that's you can't have a joke with that you be like, hey, chill that's out. different yeah but 
what what we pause is like it's like it's so weird and Man. it makes you self-conscious yeah you definitely got to think of what you're saying yeah but i i'm not i'm not down for it but a lot outside of the broadcasting um community because i i love the eli and peyton Paul, um Mind and cast, Mind and cast. Yeah, that's dope great great show uh-huh. um there's been a lot of shake up in the nfl uh-huh and the NBA. Okay. Which one do you want to take first? You want to deal with the NBA and then go to the NFL? Because we got fantasy to talk about. Fine. We got fantasy to talk you, about. You show me this drink. <laughs> you, you got it. You got it. You can do that. You won. You know what I'm saying? You so let's talk about the NBA. Okay. Bradley Beal goes over to Phoenix. Uh-huh. I, I don't like the Phoenix Suns. You mean as a staff record label and crew? Or are you just talking about just the tree? Big tree. Like, what you talking about? I don't like. I don't. I don't like. Okay, I didn't like Phoenix as an organization. You from, shouldn't like them. Though. You're a Laker fan. Exactly. Right. I so I didn't like them from Barkley and KJ. I wouldn't do that. Barkley and KJ was the one me. They can't do that. No, no, no. Last and the boy, they can stop. It isn't. What about us? No, I could. No, I. I tell you how far Barkley went from okay. me. Okay. I didn't like them from that. From KJ and Barkley, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. And I and I might put an age on me, but I don't give a shit. Bro, it is what it is. It is what it is, right? I didn't like the D'Antoni system. I mean, like, the whole league is an Antoni system. I, I think I think um your boy stole one from Kobe. Definitely. Right? Stay over Shaq too. Nash. Right. Because he went too. back to box. She was broken to get a, one of them and all. He went back to back, right? Yeah. He went back to back. So I, I didn't like that for that. Uh-huh. And now I don't like what they're doing with Booker. What you mean? <sighs> okay. What so are, what are they doing with Booker is, besides making his life easier? What are you talking about? That's the problem. You don't like the fact his life easier? No. Why? I like my stars. That's crazy. And I like my potential superstars to have some grit to them. He already light skinned, so he already at a disadvantage. Right? So he needs that extra grit. He needs that dog. He too. Booker, s- Booker a dog? No, no. He is a dog. You can't be a dog. There's, when, there's different types of dogs, no, Jay. You Booker can't is a dog. be a dog when you came in. I have shown you that this is your team, right? So hold on, wait, wait, stop. Pump the brakes. Who team you think it is? Now? Who name you think it it's is? Katie did now. Katie will tell you himself. It's not his team. Like what you talking about? That's Booker's team. That nigga literally said it's not my team. I came, yeah. I came here to support Booker. Yeah. Same way, Shark yeah. said I came here to support Wade, and it was Wade's team. It's the same thing. Yeah, I don't know about it's that. It's Booker's team. I bro. don't know about that. Booker, Booker about to be putting up like 30 and 10, like Harden. Like, what you talking about? Okay. Okay. So, okay. Let's, 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 I'll, I'll concede. Uh, it you is, know, you know, you get is, mad at me. You get Booker's mad at me. Team. You get what? mad at me, right? What? what? Say that first statement you were saying but dogs. And how you don't like them to have certain things. Right. But your favorite player of all time is Kobe. And he had the biggest of dogs with him. When he came no, up. No, 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 Shock was the biggest no, dog no, no. in the, in the, in the whole gym. guess what? Shock didn't win a championship. And, and him and Kobe gone to and lose. They lost. Shock was the, losing. Until the, Kobe got good enough the, to say him. I mean, Kobe the, was losing. The Spurs... Was busting their ass. Yeah, busting Utah their ass. was busting yeah, their ass. Because Kobe wasn't mature and, yet. And then, but that's my point. To you. And then that's they my, wanted to get up. To so they had to go okay. through. Hold on. So they had to go through some adversity okay. first. Okay. And their role I players you, I, I get you. weren't freaking superstars. I get you. Their role players weren't superstars. I get you. Right. So how does it look that you have this perennial superstar team bunker first nigga? Ring. Hold on, no, no, no. First no, no. ring we had Glenn Rice, he was a multi all star. I just say it. Don't uh, even don't even do that. He was on the way out. Don't even do he that. He was on bro. the way out. Don't even do that, bro. He was on the way he was out. Putting up 18 to 20. Don't he even was do on that, the bro. way out. I just trying to say to you, Booker went to the finals with OKD. Yes or no? And don't, don't forget nothing. that. This what, you mean, Steph? what you mean he ain't doing nothing? Steph, they Steph got wasn't beat. doing nothing for multiple finals. They get beat. Okay, but Steph wasn't doing nothing for multiple hey, finals. What for, you talking about? For two more than this. Who in the MVP is? Andre Iguodala and freaking KD. I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think Andre deserved to win the finals MVP. Yeah, you know why he won? Because the whole series shift when he started. Brandon was up 2-1. They changed the lineup. They wound up winning every other game. 
I think he's putting up numbers while he did that. And while that, he had the guy that's, LeBron. That's all well and good. Right? And it was it was the like other game. one when they lost in game seven, he was gonna lose that to Draymond. So what you really saying? Tell me Draymond. Draymond wasn't gonna be MVP. I don't think so. Yes, he was. And he had a triple double in game seven. And he was gonna get that hope. Uh maybe. I just saying, the only time Steph showed up was the we last know. finals. We don't know. Actually, no, no, no. Anyone know. know he's going to win know. that. We don't know. We don't know it that. Was they give, win. Listen, they win. Listen, no, I got to tell you, it was either give LeBron James it because he led in every yeah. statistical category yeah. or yeah. give it to someone in the they Warriors. Have, they, and it would have been Draymond Green. That would have been unprecedented. Green. So they, they wouldn't have been, given it to It wasn't LeBron. unprecedented because Jerry, Jerry West threw it. Jerry West lost the finals yes. and won a final Yes, he only won one championship. And he didn't win finals and beat that championship he win. So I learned something. He, the first day. MVP was a loser. It was Jay West. He <laughs> averaged 40 and lose hey, to Bill I don't Russell. like how you shining a negative light on our team. I just telling you the facts. I don't like I don't so, like how you shining a negative light on If you go and do that, you gotta be fair. That's all they said. Booker got it out the mud before KD came there. He was in the lowest of the lowest of the suns when he was going seventy and getting beat and blow out this and that. He ran for the whole culture change and all them coaches and everything gone. How long Booker been in the league? I ain't the only one still there for me, Kim. How long Booker been in the league now? At least eight years. I don't know. What? You are, bro. He done play with KD. Booker like 20 years. He done play with KD. He done play with Chris Paul. He had a number one pick, big man. And he was the main nigga in every situation. No, I'm not saying that he's not the I main guy. That. And I don't think he, I'm not saying that he doesn't have main guy capability. My whole thing is, I think they're doing him a disservice without giving him some grit. Bro. It could be, okay, he wins a ring with Phoenix. Bro. Who win that ring? Bro, let me ask you a question. If he wins, See, a win, I, if he I wins with flip Phoenix, th- who win that ring? I have to flip things to something you can relate to with something you love so you understand that you wild right now. So, listen, if we had a number one pick in LA after Braun go, right? Mm-hmm. And you know LA always stocking talent. Right. You can say that to him too. If he's putting up booking numbers and he gets someone big time, like how Braun get 80, and then they start winning. You could say that too. Or just because it's Bucky, you say that you don't like Phoenix. Danny get I, some help now okay. after he struggled. Okay. And they me, start winning. You okay. can say, oh. Let me don't make it seem like I Danny hate. Danny had no grit too. No, Come on. let me don't say I, I don't hate Booker. I just think that they're doing him a disservice. I don't like KD. I think KD's a bitch. That's why you say it's a disservice. Because you don't like the niggas. I think, I think, I think they're trying to put a championship on a silver platter and not like I respect the shit out of Yana. As a GM, that's what you're supposed I to do. I love no. As a G, yes, as a GM, you're supposed to put the best talent around your player. But Jesus Christ, they're trying to buy one. Now you can call me Ange like all you want. We are Lakers fans. What do we do? We buy take, them holes and we take bro. other people's talent when and we take them all how, the how, how else we do that? By buying them. <laughs> what are you talking about? We didn't what buy are Kobe. You talking about? Yes, we did. We didn't we buy tra- Kobe. We damn near did. We didn't we, buy we Kobe. We traded equity to get him. We didn't buy Kobe. We traded equity to get him. We took shock from a. Uh, we traded Vlade Divac to get Kobe. Yeah, we did. But Kobe wasn't a champion. Of course not. He team of high school. It, of course it, you not. know what I mean? Shaq was, wasn't a champion he, either. He was but we, we bought that dude, gave him the most money. And we is. developed them into champions. Shock was already they are trying in to the finals before okay. he came here. Is, but, okay. Are the Phoenix Suns trying to buy a championship? Bro. Are the, answer that question. Everyone yes or no? besides the small market teams try to buy championships. Bro. I ask you a direct question. Is the Phoenix Suns, are the Phoenix Suns okay. trying to buy a championship based on their current roster? Was no, KD not enough? That. I wouldn't say that. Now they're going to get I wouldn't Bradley say that because it's just three big, three big people and then just a bunch of little marginal pieces. Now, if they had old starting five, where the dudes like, bro, how they get these five niggas on this team? Damn, yeah. Like the Warriors was, how the hell they get all these dudes on a 73 win team on KD? Now, that's buying the, the championship. The dif- no, the difference between that's the, buying the championship. Here's the, thing, the difference between the Warriors is everybody outside of KD was homegrown. Not they everybody. Drafted. Andre Iguodala was not homegrown. And he oh. was the finals MVP. Well, Iguodala... Andrew Bogut was not homegrown. No, Iguodala... Andrew Bogut was not homegrown. Iggy? Iggy? Yeah, Andrew was, Barbosa was not homegrown. Iggy was... All of them was... All of them was big pieces. They were renaissance players. All of them was big pieces. They were renaissance players. And they were big pieces. They, they were important. renaissance players. They was important. They were they, they was important. They were You know what they did with their home... They revitalized okay. their career and grew You know the what thing. they did with their homegrown person? 
traded his ass and got KD. You ain't fair. What the fuck they do with Bonds? Send his ass out to nowhere, and you ain't see him since last year in the playoffs because he happened to be on the Kings. And you barely saw him. You don't even know he was there. Exactly. He's the game? Exactly. He's the game? Exactly. His, his, exactly. His career is tying, man. We want the you. right piece. I I hear you, bro. I don't. I uh, okay. They ain't just go and get Wiggins too to get the ship. Here's the thing. I just saying. Wiggins was on the downturn too. No, he was not. He dropping twenty on the on the Timberwolves. Wiggins bro. was on was the on downturn. How if he dropping twenty? That he nigga, Oka Raven dropping twenty. Wiggins how had, how Wiggins, Wiggins was knocking on the bus door. Bro, stop! Please stop. They was calling. Uh, Please stop. They was calling that boy a bus. You know why they call him a bus? Because he was the number one pick in a horrible draft. Okay. And he still was dropping 20. My, listen, I didn't say I believe the hype. Cat basically a bust too. Hold on. And Cat putting up numbers in Minnesota. Towns? Yeah. He, he basically a bust too and he putting up numbers in Minnesota. No, no. I came there and took over no, the team. No. I just saying it's the same cycle. It was Wiggins team and Cat come there, take the team. Now it's Cat team. I come there, take the team. That's, the, that's just the Wolves hey, in general. Mini Since Drake, KG gone. Mini Drake ain't going to win a championship. What else, Mini Drake, bro? Fuck off. You wild for that, too. You wild for that, bro. I put the curse on him. You wild for that. You gonna go Just because he likes it, you gonna go on the That's drink. right. You sick, bro. You sick. He ain't look fair like Casper. You sick, bro. He needs some more facial hair or something. He look sick, like a baby. Bro. I saw the, the tribute uh, video. It looked like a, 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 a undeveloped teenager doing a salute to the cool B-Day. Only thing I don't like but Booker right now, they get a nigga some trash-ass shoes for his first signature. Look at some damn clocks out there. You wouldn't be we talking do, about do a the ball shoes. and some clocks, bro. Yeah, I don't know what Nike was doing. You know we talking about sports and you talking about That's part of sports. Shoes. That's part of sports. That's part of the culture. Oh, oh you're saying? The, the book of one's trash. Okay. So another big thing. That's Bradley. We didn't even talk about Bradley Beal. And that's the that's other thing. I wish him the best. I love Bradley. I think he. I think Bradley does have a dog. I think he's a decent that's scorer. That's the real ring chaser. But anyway. No, 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 no. He was traded. Why he got traded? Because he wanted to get a better situation because he wanted a ring. That's why he got traded. Because wasting him in Washington. Hence my point saying that's the real ring, Jason. How you going to get mad about the truth? No. Like, what, what's going on? Anyway. I think, I think I like Bradley. I wish him Bra- the best. Bradley, but Bradley unfortunately, good. Phoenix is on the answer for you, sir. Ah, well, too late. Now, my guy. Who? Who got the real dog in him. Who? Made a decent choice. He ain't made that choice. Now he wanted to go to Miami. He made that choice, but he made he finally made up his mind that hey, Portland ain't gonna be the situation. No, I don't like. They need to do a reset, right? And Miami isn't a bad destination. No, they no, still like. they still a dogish type of team. I like I like how they play. I like their. Miami grit. would have been the perfect situation. I think that would have been a, a decent start. No, that would have been the perfect situation. Plus, it'd been close. I would have fly over to because see them he would have been. The automatic number one on the team. So that'd have been the perfect situation. The so if he won the ring, they couldn't deny him and say you ring chase none of that, because he'd have been the automatic yeah, number one. Yeah, he'd have one. been the guy. You ain't never about to be number one with Giannis there. I don't care if you drop 40 a night, you ain't number one. But you know, this is the this is like a reincarnation of Shock and Kobe. Stop, please. Please stop. Please you don't think so? Please stop. Don't do that. Shock compares himself so he always says, if he was playing in the game today, who would it be? And he said, You know the guy why he Greek says Greek. Giannis? Everyone knows why he says Giannis. Um, Only because Giannis. It's because Giannis can't shoot free throws and Giannis putting people in the rim. That's the only reason why nobody else in the league can't shoot free throws and only put niggas in the rim. He's freakishly aggressive. Besides athletic. Ben Simmons. And Ben Simmons ain't aggressive. So he can't say he's aggressive. I ben heard Ben Simmons. Simmons look good at the breeze. I either. mean, I ain't worried about Ben because something could happen and then he go back to that little flipping Shelly B. I ain't worried about it. <laughs> All I'm saying is, don't you ever call these dudes Kobe and Shaq. No, I said it is a it's a possible reincarnation. No, it's not. It, it's can, it can never be that because Dame, for one, does not play any defense. And Kobe was a dog on yeah, both ends. Kobe was a dog on both ends. He, he really Giannis defense. shies away in the clutch. And Shaq will take a hook shot. Shaq will do what he got to do in the clutch. Shaq will say, give me the ball. Even though he know you can't shoot free throws. Giannis will be scared to touch the ball. True. I will never call these dudes Kobe and Shaq. Okay. All I right. will never do All right. I, I'm sorry, guys. Never I'm do sorry. it. No, sir. All right. Let's get into some NFL. Cause, go. Okay. Cool. So you want to talk about them Celtics first? You really don't like them all. <sighs> I figure that's the best team in the league. You know what? I'm going to give Tatum some. Let me give Tatum. I that's the best team Let me give Tatum league. and Brown some shine. They sign a decent big. 
But the only thing is, Unicorn, they, they, Unicorn they always unhealthy, always injured. That's fine. Williams was always injured too, but he way better than them. That's okay. fine. So I go from Robert Williams to Class ALT to the Unicorn who could shoot and play defense. Yeah. And then they still got Hartford. And I, I got they, Holiday, I remember, Holiday, I remember, Holiday way better than Smart. I remember bro. when the Knicks drafted him and they booed him, Dred. Tingus, fingers. Every time I see that video <laughs> from Rappaport, I just die laughing. Unicorn is, Unicorn is dope. I think he needs a little bit more body. No, but you can't you can't deal with that. His, his legs will break down if he gets stronger. You get heavier. So, so the problem gotta, is his legs. You got knee and what do you, problems. What do you think about the the new kid? Oh, um, Wemby? Wemby, yeah. I do. People say he's a, a cheat freak, code. Bro. Straight up freak. I didn't like the, he like the, the Megatron of the NBA. You thought it was Giannis, but it's him. Because so you think he's he way he's, more fluid than Giannis. So you think he's an expert thing? If he see, this is the scary part, right? The mofo done like seven four. He is seven, seven five with shoes on. Is he, is he yeah. seven four? Seven four. Seven four pretty much. Why didn't he give him seven three? Seven three with no shoes, so he's seven four, seven five with okay. shoes on. Okay. He got more handle than Giannis. Yes, he does. He, he has a KD handle. He, he has a shoot. KD shot. I wouldn't too. go that far. Wouldn't go that far. He, he definitely ain't got no KD shot. This shot is developing. He don't got no KD shot. Off the KD dribble, shooting off 50, the dri- 40 percent, 90, the- bro. You can't say you got a KD shot. He mid range. Right, yes. Me, let me explain. No, sir. Off the dribble? Me, no, stop. Don't worry about them highlights. Real percentage is you shooting 30% from three. Before you no, reach no, the no, NBA. No, no, no. I don't know about three. I don't know about three. I don't mid, know about mid, mid range. Mid range. He's studying KD, bro. KD literally top five mid range shooters all the time. You cannot say that man is KD. Don't do that. I said Listen. like. I like he like is? me is he in the top 25 area all the time, and okay, that's not possible. Okay, okay, do that. okay, okay. I'm just saying. You see why I like to talk sports with this guy? Like, he, like he does, it looks really nice, though. She is. Yeah, it does. Oh. Anyways. Damn. That like, Frick, that's oh, you told me that, man. Right. <laughs> that's it. Get over there with that. That's it. <laughs> he like, let's say, yeah, of course, he has got some soul. Okay. That's what I would say. Okay. Like he got, because Porzingis got handle, but it ain't like ex- extra, like how okay, KD got extra handle, but he can combo you up. He ain't doing that. He just got enough to get by and do what he got to do. He could do that, but he could combo you up. Plus, he could shoot over everybody, and he'll try to put everybody in the rim. That's the part I like. What do you think the fact that he ain't got no fail. Develop him in the post. Yeah. Make sure you know how to shoot with angles. Mm. Make sure you know how to play defense, because that's Timmy Staple. Do you think he could become a fundamental super, no? Nah, you know what I, mean? I can't. Do Timmy, that. Timmy was a See, people don't people it's disrespect the mind. Timmy. You know? It's the mind. Timmy was a bad man, you know. Bro, Timmy the best part for whatever. Like, like glad someone else said. Literally the best part. He ain't got the best. He ain't got the most talent, but he the best part for whatever. If you go talent wise, it's KG, but Timmy the best part for whatever. If you look at the whole resume, skill set, awards, you what K- you do you in your KG? career. Do you think KD was the most talented? KG, definitely the most talented power forward I ever seen. Between him and Rashid Wallace. Well, she was about it. Yeah. But KG, they, they but KG cared classic. about this shit. Rashid just was going with the flow. Yeah, he didn't she didn't shit. care to get people dirty. Yeah. KG trying to kill you on both sides. If you go in MVP and Defensive Player of the Year, two of them did it up. But if you could do that, Mm. You got no weaknesses. And you can hit free throws. Timmy can hit free throws. KG can hit free throws. Yeah. KG can shoot from outside further than Timmy. Yeah. KG a better playmaker. KG still locking you. KG could guard the perimeter do you, better. Do you think if KG had pop in the system? You KG think- would have been costing us a lot of rings, bro. You think if so? he had that support I, staff. Listen, KG. I, I'm really mad that he chose think about Boston it. over LA. No, it's Kobe fought. He said it. Kobe didn't answer his call. He called Kobe in the offseason. Kobe was away. Kobe and Auntie called. So we wind up talking and getting persuaded by Mikhail, because you know Mikhail, old punk ass Boston nigga. 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 Kobe didn't answer his call. Bro, come on now. Kobe didn't answer his You call. going to Boston because Kobe and Auntie called on one missed call? Because here it was Paris and Rihanna. It was just Kobe back then. Wait, that's but, Kobe though. But if I that's get, Kobe if and I, KG. If bro. I get Paris and Rihanna, I go in, bro. Honestly, I get two people. Ray Adam back then was just like a step under Kobe. And Pass was right up there with Kobe in clutch. And Pass drove 25 a night. Ever, I was going. Ever put In na- clutch he was. ever put Nani Man. In clutch he was. Don't ever put wheelchair halftime Nani Man miracle. 
The in, man when the fans ever be against us because he was busting our ass in the clutch. Oh my god. Was he not busting our ass in the clutch? Oh my god. Was he not busting our ass in the clutch? You know what? Yes or no? Did he not bust our ass in the clutch? This ain't the same man who said he was better than Dwayne Wade. I ain't going that far. Okay. I just talked about okay. one category, okay. bro. Okay. I did not say he was better than Kobe. Um, I said he's on power with Kobe with clutch. That's all I said. Uh, okay, now finish clarify. You just heard Kobe in Paris and got no. mad. I said on power with him with clutch. That's all I said. When I said Ray Allen was a tear on the Kobe. Okay, how about that? How about and that? I said I'll, Paris I'll, I'll up there with him that. in I'll clutch. That. In that moment, it seems as though he was. What you talking about, moment? In that moment, and that in even that, when Paris was retiring, I called game. He was still in the clutch, breaking players in the playoffs. Uh, even when he left Boston, bro, you forgot. You mean I farewell to the devil? No, no, I. <laughs> you, could do, you could do that, right? But he still was clutch. You could do that, but he still was clutch, bro. And then they actually clutch. On, on TV said that he was better than Dwayne Wade, and they could call him and give him his guess. Yeah, Jaden did him dirty. Dirty. Mr. 81 did him dirty. Anyway, Jeez. He said you going to talk about football. We can do that. <sighs> Keep that ring on my face. We can talk about football. All right. So, I have a couple of questions put together by our producer, Nick Pappas. Okay. Shout out. Um, shout out to Nick. I mean, you put this together quick because this wasn't supposed to be the show. Yeah, I know. We were, I was supposed to be talking yeah, to some I rappers, know. but unfortunately, they ain't real artists. I might All look right. like one, but I no, ain't. Hold on. I'm going to say rappers aren't real artists. These rappers that were supposed to be on my podcast, they ain't real artists. Who these people are? They, I, there were some kids that actually came to me, saw the podcast, were like, oh, I like your podcast. I like to be on. I have a group we're trying to do, um, put together. Put it, it's been a new generation. I don't fucking know. This guy. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Give me the question. Right? So, first take style. Okay. NFL. Okay. Who were your favorites to come out of the AFC? I know a lot of Dolphin fans out there are freaking themselves out, talking about mm-hmm. how they the mm-hmm. one mm-hmm. flexing in the background. This their season. Let me call them bills for you, bro. Let me call them bills for you, bro. They have the track star. <laughs> they just got another wide receiver. You uh, don't care about Claypool, bro. No, 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 no. no. That's a big body. Yeah, but that's a way, big, way, way, but the fit. Clay, way, but the Clay fit. Fool got my attention from he was in the Steelers. I just thought that he was in a bad situation, sir. And he went to a worse situation with the Bears. And I think this may be an opportunity for him to be he a wasn't legitimate in a worse situation. red zone threat. You know why? I respect your statement. Mm. He went to the Bears to be a number one, and you couldn't do it. You couldn't perform. The Bears' whole situation is garbage. They have Justin. DJ Mar Paula right now, and he just reach. Yes or no? He ain't going off the other day. Kenny, you he ain't been football, going right? off. Yeah. You can. Yeah, I play football. You of course. Want, I got a ring too. You just, you next just, time I blast my ring, I, next time I, I might not be the boss. He won't be like a blast my ring. I was, I was, I was going to be coming in a couple weeks anyway. I was supposed, I just going to say, you yeah, just won the flag right. football championship. That's right. That's right. right? Kudos and congratulations yeah. on that. But you know, if your QB has a favorite or blind side no matter how good you are no matter how big of a target you are you still have the possibility to be underfed you have to have a legitimate smart person behind that under center that understands you know what i could get me and these niggas right here these my dogs which one is my camera this one yeah that's one right there I like to tell Jay something because oh, he doesn't know this, but if you can't get open, you ain't getting the motherfucking ball, and he can't get open. So you don't think he can get open? So the problem is he's slow and he can't run routes properly, and his hands ain't the best, and he can't get open. And you know what happens when you can't get open with someone who don't trust his arm? You ain't getting the ball. And if you ain't sure that you can get the ball or do something in 50-50 situations, you just ain't getting the ball. So you got this big body, you look like you're supposed to do something, but you ain't doing nothing. You know about that. You you had somebody all overpaid who couldn't do nothing named Gallery. And he oh was looking great. God. He was looking great in Detroit. Oh my Yo, God. Y'all paid that man all that money. And the best thing he ever did for you was to get a blind that, side block in the playoffs last that year. That contract was con man, right? Oh shit. Okay, but he was, was he not bought in Detroit? That contract was a true. Wouldn't you shit. would you put him on your fantasy team when he's in Detroit? No. He was born in Detroit. That's why I, y'all paid him. I didn't put him in my house, yeah. 
play pool. Okay, he was baller in Pittsburgh. But you gotta remember who was throwing the ball. Someone who don't care, but 50-50s. Big Ben. My my approach to fantasy. Big Ben ain't there no more. I, my approach to fantasy and winning is totally different from First of all, but what you reckon is now? What you reckon is now? I sent you a direct to me. What you reckon is now? Okay. I do agree. Okay, cool. I had a I had a way better than me. I had a I had a, a, I had a horrible year. start. I had a horrible start. Why you had a horrible start? Huh? Why you had a horrible start? Who you drive a quarterback? I had Donald Jones a quarterback. Oh, okay. And that's your but, quarterback? But that's my quarterback. No. Unfortunately mm. for that, yes, we had a bad opening night. Mm. But, that ass. but 40, my team, 40 zip, 43. Yeah. If you look at my performance with my team, uh, my in spite of him, my team won. Even before I moved to um I I moved to who I moved to? I moved to um what the alopecia guy named? Dobbs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? You know, stop talking my boy like that. Man. And then I moved on to Tua in a trade. This is not about that trade, but whatever. It made sense. Can I knock? I'm that, a real that's GM. That's a brotherly love trade right I'm there. I'm a real GM. That's no, no, a brotherly no, no, love no, trade, no, 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 though. No, I'm a real GM. Anyway. I get it done. But. That age. <laughs> but, no. In spite of him, in spite of Jones, my team is built to score. I have Adams. I have Allen. I don't even want to be in these situations. At, no at the time, I had um, Waddle. I have Kirk. Um, when your boy actually show up, so that's what what's the tight end? Um, who? Uh, Pitts. Pitts. That's a lot of problem. Right? I have Jacobs at running back, and I have Henry. So outside of Jones and my quarterback situation, my team outside of them. Should be at least a bona fide one twenty one thirty by itself, and that's not the three defensive players, my Listen. actual defense, Listen. and my kicker. I lose my franchise player, I like five and one. I don't talk about it no more. Back to football. You don't beat Boxing. nobody real yet. I don't beat nobody real. You say our division way better than y'all. Know what you talking about? I don't even do that, bro. We got the you basically four the six top you like, spots. You like the Dolphins. Don't even do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that, bro. No, the Dolphins haven't beaten anybody real. Like, let's, nah, let's no, be honest. Let's no, just no, no, be no. honest. The first team, the first real team, the first championship contending team. They got smoked. By what? It was 20-something? 20, 20. 20 points? Easy, a smooth 20. Bro, you, ain't had a chance. you cannot. You have the fastest receivers in the NFL. One of the best. I think two, two is one of the best. Right? Top 10. You cannot have that type of performance. I know the box plays in too. Now, obviously, not every team is going to be a championship caliber team, and you should get your wins up and make sure you make the playoffs and all this other I stuff. I respect the fact they beat the people they're supposed to beat. Right? The Eagles schedule is garbage. We put a little Christmas Eve too. I might go to that game. We got them. We got them Christmas Eve. Oh. They got a whole division, bro. Oh. So they got y'all. They got us. Mm. They got the Eagles. They got mm. the Commanders. So out of the AFC, if it ain't the Dolphins, and you got to put Mahomes there every year. Default. He, he is the default. Not my favorite team, but default. No, I, and I think and I think it's a cheat code. They're doing well. I hate the whole. I mean, the cheat code is him. I hate the Kelsey. Uh, now we got a defense. I hate the Kelsey Swift situation. I think the NFL is uh, overdoing don't it. Don't bring that I, up, like, though. Leave, they got, the, leave that alone. Like they calmed down though. They calmed down last week. They didn't do it yeah, too much. They didn't try to shove it down. Yeah, they they didn't do it too much. Because Kelsey said y'all need to chill out. Yeah. And she was trying to sneak in the stadiums in the park. You can't machine. sneak in the well. She you, literally you tried still, to sneak you, it in you, the ballroom machine. You can't. You still you think gonna figure out you gonna leave your hotel wherever you are and find you. It is what it is. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so it's Casey by default. I think Who is your favorite? Who's my favorite to come out? Get all get get all the fluff out of who's your favorite? Who you feel you got the best chance of taking them now that they see them in the championship game? The KC? I think if they're healthy and Diggs head on right, I think Allen actually could do it. I think they have the defense to do it. I don't, I don't, I don't think so no more because yeah. of White. If White still was healthy, yeah. They got Bob Miller back, but I don't like the fact they caught him back room and get a little worse because White out again. Mm. Luckily, How they long he for? Season, he tells the Achilles, I think. Yeah, the second year in the row, you all know for the season. Mm. But my favorite team, especially because they've been performing and they got a lot of people missing and they got to come back, I like the Ravens. I like the Ravens. Mm. 
They, listen, they it got would the, be they, a great story for Lamar. They got the record they got. Odell been missing time. Bateman been missing time. They run back, we're missing. Their defense been having a lot of people missing, and they still got a good record, and they still do what they got to do without all those pieces. So when all of them start getting in there at the end of the year. The chemistry. Yeah, yeah. Because the defense already top 10 without I, most I, of them. I didn't really consider the Ravens because they are so injury prone. And I'm kind of like looking back and like, okay. Every team that's going to have a chance to beat the Chiefs are injury prone. The Chargers, injury prone. Mm. Bengals, injury prone. Team, you just call the Bills injury prone. Every team injury prone besides the Jaguars. And that's something the Jaguars got what it takes. Then they are. Yeah, that's something they, they got they what it takes. I don't know. I don't, I can't put my finger on it. W- what it is. Trevor don't now. got that dog to me, bro. Be I don't, I don't think it's him. It is. He's the quarterback. He don't got the dog to me. I, I don't see it. I think he I needs to it. work on his late starts. That's my point. You don't got he's, that dog he to him. He's heat up too late. He, he like he he addicted to. He got that doc issue. He got to he got to be behind in order to get fired up. Like yeah. no, that's like a, that's jump. a doc type shit. Yeah. It's, what y'all doing with him? Bro, I don't know. We I don't know if we want to pay that mom fifty mil. No, so it's gonna be rough. And then we ain't got a good enough pick to get a good quarterback in the draft. No, so like you trap. You in that you in that bad dead space where you can't give up a franchise QB, but you can't get one. So I don't know what gonna happen. Cause Lance ain't it either. Bro, I don't have no faith that Lions gonna do anything. They just get him because he was f- pretty much free. I, I'll I'll take I'll take out of the AFC. I definitely would take the Bills. Um, NFC. My original pick was the Jets, but you know what happened to them? Yeah. So. I mean, within the first two minutes, that that's just horrible. I see him trying to do some rogue shit, but yeah, I ain't know much drugs you can take. Nope, Young nope, from Achilles, what bro. type of steroids that is? He looked good starting up. Been yeah, throwing. Problem is, he ain't got no line to keep him standing up and not exactly. dropping. Exactly. That's how you get hurt now. So. Exactly. I, if I was him, I would not rush it back. He ain't and, got but so much time. That's why he going to do it. Yeah. It's sad. Do about 40, bro. We going to try again. He last time in with a good team before it goes Have a anyway, proper though. farewell, though. Have a proper farewell, though. Yeah. Don't, don't rush back and then get hurt again. That'll make sense. Yeah. I would say NFC, Eagles ain't it this year. Everyone, I feel like the NFC is consensus right now, bro. I feel like it's consensus. 49ers. 49ers? Like, the whole situation with the skill players, like, they pretty Their much... Their defense all the two, they've been holding they them up. They got a top three defense. Yeah. They pretty much, like, warrior status with KD. Ever since, ever since McCaffrey went there, and they, they figure out the quarterback... Situation. Shape the problem is the quarterback is getting injured. They curse. That's the problem. Quarterback always getting injured. Jimmy couldn't stay healthy. Lance, as soon as he reach, he get knocked out. And, and then boy, Purdy get the elbow, elbow issue. Yeah. yeah, like, the problem is you got to keep the and quarterback the getting killed. Darnold now? Darnold's yeah. that quarterback? Uh, yeah, backup? Sam Darnold. Man, he's suspect I, too, so. I don't, I don't. The NFC is so wild. I think the NFC is the epitome of the NFL saying any given Sunday. Mm-hmm. The scariest team outside of them is the Lions, bro. I am, I am afraid of those motherfuckers. Like, the Lions really... A good ass motherfucking team. People didn't respect them, but they good as shit. But uh, but the thing is, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't Listen, I haven't bought into the hype. I, I can explain to you why they make sense. And it might be the only thing that takes time was just go down. Cause I don't think the Eagles can. They got the wide receivers. They got the running backs. Mm-hmm. They got a quarterback who's been to the Super Bowl already and yeah, know how to so get they have there. experience. They got the top trio line. They got a top three D line, just like the Niners. They got cornerbacks and they got linebackers who could p- speed and be everywhere on the field. So outside of week one, week one for who? When the, the, the Detroit outside they beat the Chiefs? I know. Outside of week one, I haven't kept up with them. Okay, they just whooped the Seahawks ass. Like right. them niggas good, bro. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pay more yeah. attention to them. I haven't paid attention. You know why I don't pay attention anymore? Because Swift was my guy. Mm-hmm. And he, he was the there. Eagles? Yeah, he got to the Eagles. So I don't pay attention to that game anymore. Yeah, but they're nice, bro. They, they got St. Brown. They got Randall. Yeah. They got Jameson Williams. Oh, oh, they got, oh, they got oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold they got, hold on, hold on. I called it off all the people, bro. I called off all the people. They got Reynolds? I called off all the people. Remember that trade? I called off all the people. They got Reynolds. I called off all the people. Okay, okay. First of all, when you're making the trade, Jameson Williams wasn't there. He just reached. 
he was suspended because he was trying to bat and get caught. That's the real number two. Then they still got people. Who How long he out for? He back. Oh, he, he, back he, just scored. he just played last week and scored. Oh, okay, he okay, back. Okay. That's why I was a fool. He and, that trade. And Randall's still putting up numbers. Somewhat. He's like, he's like, what you said, they got Kirk Raymond. wasn't going to be. Because remember, your boy was supposed to take all the balls with Kirk. And Kirk been consistent as hell. That's the Lawrence guy. What do you call consistent? Um, he's always over. The real consistent person at the end, but. No, no, no. no. He, he can eat. But overall, in his role, always over. He's a guaranteed 60. Yeah, but they can't double him because he's really there. So, yeah. easy for him, to be honest. I try to remember the Marvin. What is the God damn guy remember the last name? No, Ian Brown. He used, to play for, he used to play for the Bengals, man. I don't know. You gonna check it out? Marvin Jones. Jones? Yeah. They got they got pieces. So like Jones would be a number two, three, or a lot of the AMC like number four. Okay. So and then you got the Porter who just reached and he got top two numbers at tight end. So like you got people everywhere. And then you got Montgomery, and then so you, you think, got the running back on so the So are you Obama. calling them a dark horse? I wouldn't even say they're dark horse anymore because they have people face there and they can be here. So they literally, it can't be a dark horse. Cause they're dark the top, horse is they're, more they're Seahawks. They're top of their division. Dark horse is more Seahawks. They're the top of their division. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They're running away because the Vikings can't win. Vikings got Chicago Vikings is trash. And the Packers can't win with Jordan Love. So they run running away. That's theirs. They, they got the lockdown. They got the easy schedule. So they ain't got to work hard. That might be their only problem. They ain't got too much challenges because their schedule easy. Mm. But besides that, so when the rubber means to roll, yeah. they could probably they, they could probably too much follow. Of that. But the one thing I like about their coach, he's he he stuck with the I program. My coach, bro. He stuck with the program, and them niggas will run through a wall for him because he's a player's coach and he played. So they by respect, you know, if you play, they got more respect because they know you've been in the flipping mud. They yeah, you've been, been in the trenches. You've yeah. been on the gridiron. Been, yeah, and then he was a dog when he played. So yeah, it is what it is with that. Fantasy football. This guy. Put these things on my face again, bro. Fantasy football, sir. Is it like I don't know. I I I used to think that it was for nerds. It until is. I until it's low key. We're not nerds. We're, the, we're so far from being the, you know I'm why, not a nerd. You know, you know I'm why, smart. You know why you're but a I'm nerd? not a nerd. You know why you're a nerd? Mm. You're a nerd because what you do every week. Stocks, analyze, strategize. What you looking scheme, for? What you watching? What you trying to figure data. out what people are doing? Yeah. Oh, I can okay. pick this thing up. He bought it out. What he do last week? Oh, he been so with we're this. so we're culture you nerds. doing analytical things like a nerd to get your team right. You looking for the right trade? It's like a nerd to get your team better. Like you I, be, I think I could be a real NFL GM. The difference is you could be a nerd but cool at the same time with fantasy. So we're cool nerds, pretty much. Because you got something to show for it. Like most nerds, they ain't got much things to show for it when they being nerdy. Mm. But you got something you can show for it. Sadly, I gotta look at these things, but you got something you can show for it if what, you want to. What um what advice would you give to a spouse or a girlfriend that is annoyed with her significant other like being involved with fantasy football? Because it's a it's a commitment. And if your league is serious. And my wife is off camera and she looking at me sideways, but she knows the rules. She knows. Sunday, you gotta leave me alone, bro. Sunday, Thursday Especially night. Especially Sunday. Thursday, Thursday night. you might get a little blind. Yeah, you can get a blind. Because Thursday games don't always be good. Right. So, Sunday, Monday, uh, give, me, give me a little time. Especially when we get down the stretch Friday. Oh, yeah, so yeah, between yeah. September and February, don't look for me. Mm-hmm. Don't call my name. Then in the off season, I got the I I got, do I got talk my shit on my phone. I could get get jiggy That's with it. my boys. And come August, mm. boys trip. Yeah, we, God, wait. we did Orlando. Yeah, that was dope. Next one is New York. That should be fun. And I host it. So uh, hopefully you ain't got another ring to talk crap. Oh my god. I need you get another if ring. If you all got if you all got let that me down, get boys. one more deal. You gotta this, shut it down. This one here is my double ring. This is That's the retro ring. D- disclaimer: I only seen one of these. No, no, happen. no, no! You I just reach. For t- exactly. You just so reach. He can start. Reach. I only seen one. Dude, this, this so he, he can start with these trees. Yeah, really but only you. one of these. This ain't really for you. He got in front of me. This one so, from this one from Vado. You can start on all them. No, actually, you know what? You know, I respect Brett, the commissioner, so much. The two rings, these, these two. You don't know, see these two trophies on that. These two belong to him. These his else. 
Wow. And he had to give it to me. Brent, he had to humble see how you himself. Do you, Brent? He see had how you to do purchase you? this. See how you do you, Brent? Off his card. See how you do you, dog. And give it to me in person. This one was from last year. Calling you This up. one he told me I couldn't get. This one Vado told me I couldn't get. But guess what? Who of it? Me. Lucky Wofo. So if you are interested in fantasy football, I would suggest you do it. It it has Help with camaraderie if you have a great group of guys. Don't do it with random niggas. No. I mean, it's some randoms would be fun. Like you might, you might you got a, you got a serious random group you could turn to friends. You might right. ask, you kick it and have a trip right. and do the finance too. Uh, my advice for what you said before you forget what you asked me mm. to the women. Listen, we could be doing a lot of things that you would not approve <laughs> with the time where you can see where we are watching the games and setting our lineups. Be happy we home. True. Be happy you can see us and talk to us and engage with us, even though we're looking at our phone. Be happy we home. You know, a lot of dudes, they, they might have been up and down, but now you know where they at. Just be happy about that. What you about gotta, the, You got to look at different things. What about the traveling component? Be happy that you can see that. What about the traveling component? I mean. Because I already tell the wife. This she is, can't come. If you see how serious I am when I home, and I'm a shit I talking at home, at my phone, you think I got time for that? When I talk and shit to these people first face to face, and I got a draft, I ain't got time for that. So you don't got nothing to worry about. Just know where I at. I can talk to you. I can tell you yeah, we reach. I might take a picture, drop board, this and that. Just know nothing going on besides me trying to whoop these niggas' ass. Cause the guy is when I home. So be happy about that. That's and you all I got to and say. just know, don't even ask to go. You Why? Have, don't don't try I ain't to infiltrate your girl, that sure. universe. The same way you have a book club. I never come like to go shopping by yourself. And I never the girl, like leave that guy alone. Let him have his own fun. Let him have his universe. That's his piece. It's almost like golf. Listen. That's when, what it's like. When you in your shopping cart and doing what you gotta do and having your good time, and you ignoring me or whoever your mind is, and you having a good time trying to build your card, then maybe press send or hand it to me to look for my card to say hit send or hit add the card or hit check out. It's the same thing. You don't want me to bother you when you're looking for your clothes, right? Don't bother me when I try to win my games. So leave the mind in peace. Is what Fantasy it is. football. Who's winning this? Okay. Why would you ask me that, bro? I, okay. You, it's almost like drink champs. Or like versus. I Obviously, you think you can win. I'm one right now. Why would I say anybody else besides me? Okay, bro? let me ask what this question. Who would you like to face? In the the out of, in our in our league, who's the biggest threat and who would you like to face? That's it. Who could stop you from getting to the playoffs? I might curse myself again. I'm gonna make two quotes. Two people who said these things it went down, but I got so much confidence that I don't care. Remember what they asked John Morant last year? What would he say? I'm fine in the West. I'm fine in the I don't care who I face it. I don't care who I face. I'm whooping that ass. Also. Oh! You ever, you, ever, you, ever saw, you ever saw Adrian Bruno? When he always said A, B, C, D? Yeah. That's me. So, so you don't give a shit with nobody. Anybody can. Get that work, bro. Did you win last week? Yes. Oh, shit. Fuck. Damn it. Anybody can Damn get it. that work. I, I tried. I tried. Anybody can get I that work. I tried, America. And when I catch you week eight or nine, whichever week that is, I'm whooping that ass again. Oh, I'll definitely, I'll definitely post it up on my shorts. Yeah, sure I am. Sure I am. Just sure the hell. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Sure the hell. Don't oh, forget I beat you last year. Show, show you ain't beat me with the time you Show them your knuckles. You ain't beat me. Show them your knuckles. You ain't, you ain't beat me. That bear? Yeah, yeah, everything cool. Put it in the camera. Did you beat me for this? Did, let me did you that, beat me? Let me see that ass. Did you beat me? Did, did you beat me? <laughs> did, did you beat me? No. Okay, that's did what I, I said. Did I win the league? That's, that's fine. No. Uh, uh, but if you want to talk but you, I just talk but I match up. Okay. And you want to bring up your no. ring. You ain't beat me for the Am ring, bro. I one of you the best the league, if not the best league managers in our league. I mean, that ain't hard to do. No, no, Bloody no, no, no. I ask you that. See? You, top five. you see how y'all niggas is getting? You top five. Where am I in top five? five? Where in top five? Because. No, yeah. nigga. Okay, I'm going to answer you. Because you was high key, go there, and abolish and rape these dudes in these trades. Oh, you're oh. the top three. 
No. Because no, you no, find no, a way no, no. to find some suckers in these trades. No, no, no. Your GM no. skills, solely off these trades, your GM oh. skills got you in the top tree because you just find a sucker to take Where, the bait okay. every year. So I go on from. So I go on from. Top five. What happened that first? Top okay. Three. Okay. So what, what happened that first week when the, when the draft was in? What happened? What trade happened? Because. Um, negotiations and other things, and GM. Okay. Oh, oh, GM. Oh, hold on, hold on. That's part of GM. So, okay. That's part so, of GM. So here's the thing. What's that? Not part so of GM. I had a bet with a guy. I still don't like you because of this. bet. I still don't like you because of this. And he defaulted. The G. The commissioner came to me and said, "Let's find alternate arrangements to get keep this man in the league." X Y Z. I was letting him go scot free. Hence my point. Oh, so why are you in the top three? Because you just get their way with murder. Non negotiable trade. He could take anything. Now, I was about to give him Reynolds, but we had a glitch. And it just so happens. He cap it. It just so happens. Because the, the terms was position for position. I couldn't give him like a kicker for whatever. So it just so happens that I got Carter from the Jets as a supplemental pick. For who? For Derrick Henry. Come on, man. And I already had Adams. Come on. I already man. had Jacobs. Come on. Man. I already had Allen. I dropped it all the Come time. Come on, already. son. So anyway, got it done. And then they vetoed another trade. I was giving up corn to get Kelsey, but they knew that would have been the league. So here I am, three and three, biggest threat to everybody. And Kenny doesn't want to say. You're no big threat to me. You, you're not the biggest threat to me. Who's the biggest threat to you? Really Who's the biggest threat to you? Probably Aiden. Who? Alden, Aiden, whoever it is. Alden? Probably. Alden? Probably. Alden Aubrey? He's putting up the points. No, sir. He putting up the points in E5 and 1 look, 2. Look at it again. Between him and Brent. His, his record ain't really Between though. him and Brent. Brent ain't come on our division. division. Well, if he don't, it's better for me because then they just go in. Anyway, that has been another episode of Full Gap Podcast because this man doesn't want to admit reality that I am the number one GM in the... You ain't the number one GM, bro. You're the best swinger. You ain't number one GM. See? You're the best swinger. Niggas go hate. Your draft would be trash. Then you just get saved by trades. If you was that great as a GM, then you wouldn't have do all that because you would have been just you killing know the people. The only person that I dropped that was horrible was Adam Jones. Boy, stop. Anyways, some people you cut. Huh? Some people you cut. They wasn't my style. I asked him a simple question. How many people you cut? You draft them though. How many people you cut? Like maybe six. Okay. Uh, uh, like yeah, did you trade them when you draft, they right? Did players? you not trade them when you draft? Who? You ain't no. picked that man up in free agency. Who? Trade. Waddle, I just said you trade people. You oh, do Waddle was days. a great pick. He's a solid pick. That was trade bait. He's a solid pick. You got me. I, I wouldn't hater. really say you, you, you trade bait. No, bro, listen to me. When Waddle you have been doing that this year, when right, you I'm have good. your call, there are certain people that you use just for trade bait, yeah. and he happens to be Whatever. one of those people. And now, the day, a five and when, one, you when, trade, you, trade. when you're five and one, turn into you one know. of these. Listen, when I pull back on this show. I got two rings too. It ain't gonna be two fantasy rings, but it'll be two rings. One fantasy ring, my lion shot midget ring. Anyway. Uh, two of us got two rings, bro. Anyway, and in the words of cash money, bling bling, money in a thing. See y'all later. <laughs>